okay, we're going to try a little experiment with uh, doing an RC uh, time constant using a square wave. And so I've got the uh, set up over here. Uh, I'm using the top the top uh, function generator. It's set for 8 hertz. If I adjust it, you can see that indeed it uh, adjusts the waveform. I've got a a uh, a 10k ohm resistor and a uh, 10 microfarad capacitor, um, and we're going to uh, we're going to measure. Uh, let me do those calculations before I continue. I'm going to pause the recording. Okay. Uh, at the top cursor is at 1.03 uh, volts. So the 63% mark would be about uh, uh, 0.65 on here. So let's uh, move this to, oops. Six hundred and fifty, and let's measure that pulse width. Let's go to there. Uh, please don't jump around like that. There, there's the course. And let's move the other cursor. And let's uh, go back to the amplitude and see where it's just above the uh, the third set of dots. So, oh, it changed it all all up. Okay, well, let's get this at the. Let's see if maybe I can expand it. And try to trigger it towards steady. Wish I had an external trigger, but don't have it. So let's just do the best we can. Trigger level. Okay, well, we'll work with a uh, uh, smaller scale just so it's steady. So There's the that and this oops. Rise sixty seven, that's right. Uh, 
right where that, if I can get them to intersect, let me do the fine, oops, do the fine adjustment. Nope, wrong one. Amplitude. No, that's right, I want the, uh, one. Amplitude, screen. Get that right at the 67. As best as I can see. And it's a About right there, it's 16.4 milliseconds is what I can read. 16.4 milliseconds. And I think I measured, I calculated more like about 10. Let's just do it. Let's uh, put it in. We've got 1,000 ohms and... 10 e to the minus 6 times, that's uh, 10 milliseconds, and I'm measuring 16.4 milliseconds. Uh, so it's quite a bit off. Yeah. But that's what I come up with. Okay.